Hi, my name is KG Fukuda, and I'm the director at the School of Public Health at the University of Hong Kong. I previously worked at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, and then at the World Health Organization in Geneva before coming to Hong Kong. I've worked for over 30 years in public health at local to global levels and have worked on many different outbreaks of emerging infectious diseases. During that time, I've taken care of patients, I've worked with countries to control and investigate outbreaks, and I've supervised la large international responses from WHO. At WHO, I also oversaw implementation of the international health regulations and took part in a number of sensitive international negotiations related to outbreaks. Based on that experience, I want to raise three fundamental questions. So one question is, what should the public expect from the government when major outbreaks occur? The start of outbreaks are always marked by a great deal of uncertainty and confusion. Nonetheless, the public still should be able to expect certain basic steps from their government. First, information that is accurate and timely about what is going on. Second, decisions and actions that reflect science and public health and concern over the welfare of people rather than political calculations. Third, the implementation of very basic actions like investigations, communications, and affordable health care for people if they get sick from the outbreak. In the 21st century, such actions should be a given, but they often are not. The primary issue is not lack of resources, but one of leadership and preparations. Another question is why were countries so poorly prepared for COVID-19? In recent decades, the world has experienced many major outbreaks, like the emergence of HIV AIDS, avian influenza, SARS, Ebola in West Africa, and now COVID. Moreover, scientists have repeatedly warned that new outbreaks will continue into the future. So why, with some notable exceptions, have most countries and places remained poorly prepared? There are a lot of considerations for this complex question, but there are two key points I wanna make. First, I believe we have focused too exclusively on finding technical capacities and solutions as the answer. While innovation and technology are essential, they are not enough. What COVID is telling us is that we need to focus more on fundamental questions, such as governance, leadership, and bridging cultural divisions if we are going to do that better. Another question is what key steps should we start with now to do better in the future? I have two suggested starting points. First, while the reality of COVID is still vivid, governments need to put in place legislation and sustain funding to strengthen key national capacities like health systems, ensuring they have well-trained staff and so on. Second, governments need to decide whether they are genuinely committed to working together when large outbreaks and pandemics occur. If they are, then the first steps are to update and strengthen the international health regulations. And secondly, to adequately fund the World Health Organization. So what COVID has really shown us um, is that we are really uh, having difficulty dealing with some of the existing vulnerabilities in our countries and our societies now. Future outbreaks are going to be even more complex and difficult than COVID. And we do need to start getting on to uh, prepare ourselves for that. 